All right, we are welcome again. Let's see what we have for today. We are still on inverse of a function, that is, under calculus. Let's see what we have for today. Find the inverse of a function, of the function f of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 2. Okay? This is the second example we are taking on inverse of a function. Please, uh, the first tutorial we took on this topic, we explained that in details. Okay, please try and watch that one for easy understanding so that you follow step by step. Okay, all right, let's go. We have f of x, you know, in that tutorial, sorry, I, I stipulated some steps. Okay, I mentioned some steps that are very, very important for solving this uh, inverse of a function please watch that for that step okay now let's go f of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 2 now we say let f of x equal to y then we have y is equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 2 okay here we say make x the subject that is solve for x so, if you want to solve for x here, we just cross multiply. Okay, or you divide both sides by the denominator. Okay, now we will have y in bracket x minus 2, close the bracket, equal to x plus 1. That is when you cross multiply. I think you can do that. Okay, good. Now let's open this bracket. We have x minus 2 in bracket okay now let's open it you have y times x will give you x y then y times minus 2 will give you minus 2 y equal to x plus 1 now let's collect like terms all the values that all the the numbers or the values that are having x let them be on one side and then let others be in the other side okay so we are going to bring uh, x from the right hand side to the left hand side and then we take 2y to the right hand side okay now we will have xy as the x is coming it will the sign will change okay it will be minus x so we have xy minus x is equal to so we take the 2y to the other side, it will be 2y plus 1. Okay? Good. Now let's factor out x in this xy minus x. So if we factor out x, then in xy, what will be remaining is y. Then we'll factor out x, what will be remaining is what? 1. So that when you see x times y to give you x y when you say x times y it will give you what x so this expression is the same as the above okay now it's equal to 2y plus 1 now you remember we are interested in making x the subject okay so what we are going to do here is we'll divide both sides by y minus 1 so that x will stand alone okay so we'll have x in bracket y minus 1 bracket divided by y minus 1 is equal to 2y plus 1 divided by y minus 1. So this y minus 1 in the left will cancel y minus 1 on that. Okay. So we have x standing alone now. So we have x is equal to 2y plus 1 all over y minus 1. Okay. Now we have solved this. Now what we are going to do next is anywhere we see y we change it to what to x okay now the x that we have just solved for we replace it with inverse okay so we will have inverse function now is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 this is the inverse of this function all right i'm going to make another uh, tutorial where we will try to change this particular value 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 
to we want to change it back to the original form. Okay, that is we want to find the inverse of this. So in finding this inverse, it will take us back. All right, is that true? Yes. In the next video, that is what we are going to treat. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Please keep uh, watching and keep uh, practicing. See you next time. Thank you.